Are you wondering if you should upgrade to Windows 11 or not? Windows 11 UI is fresh and clean. You might find it attractive, but it is still in its early days. In this video, you will see the three reasons why you should not upgrade to Windows 11 yet. So, let's start the video. Windows 11 is incomplete. When Microsoft launched Windows 11, they promised a completely new experience, and lots of new features are coming to Windows 11. But during the release, many of the new features were missing, such as Android app support, widgets, etc. They are still working on these features, so I don't think you should upgrade to an incomplete operating system. The new setting they promised doesn't contain all the options. We still have to go to the control panel. Even the interface is not that much accessible compared to Windows 10, such as you cannot customize the look and feel of the taskbar. You cannot move it. You cannot change its size. You have to click twice to reach common settings such as network and the full context menu. So by looking at these basic features missing, it suggests the Windows 11 is still incomplete. I have subscribed to the Windows 11 Insider Dev channel to see what is going on there. I can see that they are slowly improving every aspect of Windows 11, but it still hasn't caught the level of Windows 10. So there is no point in upgrading to Windows 11 yet. Also, they will only give one feature update in a year, so you will have to wait longer to see any significant changes. To see the things that suck in Windows 11, check our video, click the i button, or check the description. Windows 11 isn't a huge upgrade. It isn't a huge upgrade if you compare Windows 11 with Windows 10. If you don't switch to Windows 11, you will not miss a lot. If we compare the significant changes from Windows 10 to Windows 11, we won't see much. Yes, it is good that the start menu and other icons look nicer on Windows 11, but it doesn't mean much to most users. For me, the Windows 10 start menu is quite good. At least it is smaller and doesn't cover the whole screen like in Windows 11. Similarly, the settings app on Windows 11 looks good and everything is well organized. But on Windows 10 settings, you can also find things quickly. The third major change in Windows 11 is the new App Store. The App Store on Windows 11 is a plus point, and it's pretty good compared to Windows 10. It is well organized, and finding apps is much easier. However, most Windows users don't regularly use the Microsoft Store. People can easily find Windows apps on the internet and install them so upgrading to Windows 11 only for the Microsoft Store doesn't seem right. Lots of bugs. Windows 11 is buggy, yes, it is. There are lots of bugs in Windows 11 compared to Windows 10, like right-click on the Start menu isn't working for some, some cannot use the Search feature on Start, memory issues, for some the Internet is slow after upgrading. These are the common bugs people are experiencing on Windows 11. However, Microsoft constantly fixes these bugs and tries hard to make Windows 11 more stable. Windows 11 is in its early stage and will take more time to reach where Windows 10 is right now. I'm not saying that Windows 11 is complete rubbish and you should not upgrade to it. If you want to feel a new and clean interface, Windows 11 is good for you. Microsoft will soon fix these problems. However, if you want to stay to a stable and familiar OS, you shouldn't upgrade to Windows 11 yet. After the first feature update, you can decide if you want to upgrade or not, but right now, you should stay on Windows 10. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.